Astaghfirullah Something else that can influence our minds, our mentalities, our values, our attitudes, our songs, the music industry. Uh, so many popular songs, if we were to bring the script or the lyrics of this song without any music, just to read the words that these people are saying, we will find that there is so many things wrong with it Islamically. The way they praise the loved one sometimes may fall into shirk. The profanity and the bad language that they use, the swear words that they use, the descriptions, you think this is embarrassing. How could somebody have no modesty whatsoever and actually say these things in public? And then when they sing them to music, they get paid to do that and people can't get enough of it. And then you walk into public streets and shops and you hear it playing. You think, do not these people have any shame? Do, not, do they not get embarrassed? I would be embarrassed reading this to my mother. Yet yeah, this is played on air everywhere you go and people can't listen to it enough and persons become a, a, a rich millionaire because of this song. How can then a Muslim accept it for themselves in their lifestyle? To play in their cars, to play in their household, to get their kids exposed to it. When it's, yani, it's, it's got everything, everything about it is, is against Islam. Especially that of course, songs first and foremost are haram. Songs and music is haram, musical instruments are haram. And subhanAllah, unfortunately you find so many children, so many Muslim children, repeating and singing these lyrics and without, without, uh, without any trouble, without any problem, without yeah, any, any, any in their mind, there's, there's no problem, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with it, unfortunately, which is very, very sad. And how can then you expect to uphold the values of Islam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow the footsteps of Muhammad when speaking these profanities is no big deal?